Crank it up. <laughs> Food truck upgrade. Yeah, boy. Oh my gosh. Foodie, smile, buddy. We're gonna take a picture. <laughs> On three, two, one. We got it. Great. Good job. And, uh, wait a second. Uh, Bronny, I think your eyes are closed. Dang it. All right, take another shot. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Subnautica. Uh, below zero, we're taking some pictures of Foodie here. Yeah, let's go check that out. Let's get inside old Foodie here. Open up the PDA, and we have now screenshots in our photo manager. And we can put these inside the um, a, a picture frame right here. So we're going to make a picture frame. And then as far as I know, we can upload those pictures to the picture frame. And we can have pictures of Foodie inside the base. You're free! No, you're not. Just kidding. You're not free. Get back over here. Where'd you go, Bronny? Yeah, we gotta give Bronny a name. We gotta give him a paint job. Some of you have suggested in the Welcome comments. The board, oh, hi, Bronny. In the last episode that we should, um... We should paint him the same color as Foodie. Give him the same kind of theme. That'll be our brand. Right? It is our brand. Food truck brand. Board, oh, thanks, Abby. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Alright, let's give this feller a paint job and then we're gonna have to take another paint a picture but i think the picture we have now should be just fine for the time being uh well first of all let's give it the big the yellow base color yeller just like that hold on i can't really see it yep that's fine brawny kind of like prawn suit but brawn and yeah perfect well look at that nice light blue interior is going to be so soothing inside however I think we can change the name color too, right? Yeah, we should do that on food truck too. I think I want like a, maybe a red name. All right, look at that. Excellent. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. I missed. Hop in. Let's go attach Brawny to Foodie. And uh, we'll get another picture. Grab on. Oh, you missed. Grab. There we go. All right, let's have a look. Is the sun still shining? I think the sun's fine. Oh no. Uh, your listing. <laughs> this food truck needs a, um, like a level indicator here. Because I can never get it level. Okay, smile, everybody. Okay, great. Now, let's put up the picture. I need, uh, we need copper wire. I'm going to do a few things around the base today. I do actually have a plan, but I did want to just get this done. And make a few things here in the base, like the habitat, so we can... Release some of our eggs. We got all kinds of critter eggs in here. So I would like to give that a try. Now, where can we put a picture of sea truck? Food truck. Um, why don't we do it right here? Under miscellaneous. There it is. Picture frame. Wall mounted. Oh, wow. It's huge. All right, right there. Squirt it on. And now what? Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Um, that picture's kind of dark, actually. We're gonna have to retake that one in the sunlight. So let's just put this one up here first. Upload! <laughs> so great! What a great idea! There we go! We got Food Truck, Foodie, and Brawny hanging on in the back for dear life. <laughs> That's excellent! Look at that, guys! And it's so cheap to do. Just one copper. Oh, we're gonna have to take pictures of everything now. Everything! Alright, let's, uh... Let's go make the habitat. Five glass and two titanium. Holy smokes, do we have all that? That's a lot of glass. I'm gonna have to whip up some more glass, but it'll be worth it, I think. And titanium, right? All right, grab a bunch of titanium. Actually grab even more titanium because I'm planning on maybe partitioning this room as well. But let's do this first. Let's get the... Uh, the big habitat up. Interior pieces. Alien containment. Alien containment, that's what it's called. It is enormous. So here's my thought. I want to maybe put it over here on this side and then leave that half of the room for something else. So let's go ahead and squirt this on. And we can dump our eggs in here as An far as I know. just oh. for looks. Or your own personal sushi factory. You decide. Ew, that's so mean. <laughs> sushi factory? Well, we have that already in food truck. We don't need a sushi factory in the base, do we? And besides, you can still make another aquarium and put regular fish in. In fact, I don't even think this thing 
holds regular fish. I think you have to put in the eggs and then release them after they hatch. Now, I'm pretty sure we need a hatch to get in this thing. Let's put the hatch on this side out of the way. There we go. Uh, oh, hull strength went down one. No big deal. And we can uh, come in here and look at our little friends. Of course, we don't have any little friends just yet, but we're going to plop some in there right now. I'm thinking sea monkey for sure. And this looks like a penguin. I think those two would get along, right? And how about some little rock grubs? Are they still alive? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> All right, let's release them inside and then wait for the eggs to hatch. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, we can put plants in here too. Ooh, nice. All right, we'll do that. But first, let's release the rock grubs. Can we do that? Right click. And there they go. Oh, they love it. Look at this big place for you guys. It's nice and safe too. Nobody will eat you in here. I don't think anyway. They're so adorable. And now we release the eggs. Sea monkey egg. Bloop. And then this one here, which is unidentified. But I'm fairly certain that's a penguin. Does that not look like a penguin? Are they pulsing? They're pulsing. I think they're alive. Good, because they've been in that locker for a while. Whew. All right. Well, that's pretty excellent. Then we put like a bench somewhere where he can come and sit and look at it. And eventually I'm going to put the whole big glass roof on this thing. But it's super expensive, so I'm not going to do that right now. We don't have the uh, material for it, but we can put a little bench here. And we can come and sit and look at our friends. Just going to make sure we leave enough space in the front and the back so you can actually sit on it and get around it. Click on the part that you want to sit on and face. There we go. It's beautiful. Got nasty glare, though. What the heck? Maybe that glare will go away when we put the uh, glass roof on. All right, very cool. Now we just wait. I think it takes a few days for those guys to grow. Now, let's, um, I wanted to do like this partitioning thing. Where's the interior piece? Yeah, like this right here. We got a door and we have the large room partition. And I'm thinking about maybe making a room right here. Uh, so let's try. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it adds to, it adds to um, hull strength. That's amazing. Now, how big do we want to make this room? Let's, let's make a little room first. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. I'm thinking maybe like a little aquarium and uh, plants. It's going to be sort of a like a relaxation room, you know, where we can um, blow off some steam. Why can't I get that in there? Oh, we got to put a little one in first. OK, man, that nuclear reactor is so loud. Oh, I got to go get more titanium. All right, let's finish that one off. And now, what do we do here on the ends? Yep, just go right to the wall, I guess. Okay, good. Yeah, we gotta put a door in somewhere, right? What is that? Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, it is now fully enclosed and whole strength is now up to nine and we don't have a way out of here. So we have to put a door. <laughs> I'm trapped, let me out. There we go. <laughs> All right, that's perfect, look at that. And there's a little bit of space in front for decor or whatever. And then we're gonna turn this into our mental health safe space or something. We can put a little aquarium in here, right? Uh, nope, that's the big one. We want the little aquarium, yeah, like this. Oh, look at that. Okay, I don't have the glass for that right now, but you get the idea. Aquarium, plants, um, maybe like a couch. We could just chill in here. And uh, get some serenity now. Something. Yeah. Unlike the room on the other side, which is going to be more of an entertainment room. Over here. I'm thinking about maybe putting a jukebox in here. I'm just going to get loud in here, baby. This is where we have the fun. Oh, we can make a jukebox right now. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Let's do it then. <laughs> Let's put it out of the way. Maybe over here. As soon as you come in, you can crank it up. I don't know how this thing works, but we do find music discs. The jukebox discs. lets you listen to music in your bass. No one said survival couldn't be funky. Get based, baby. Oh yeah, get funky and based. So what do we do? What is the oh, this holy! Place? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I can detect certain patterns within it. Is it mathematical? An instrument of science? Does it help with your research? It does, just not in the way you're probably thinking. 
Music and math are strongly related. Rhythm is math, harmonies can be math, but music as a whole is more than that. We experience it on an emotional level. A sausage has an impact on your pulse and breathing. It makes you move differently. Humans are controlled by music. We make music and we're moved by it. Not everything is about control, Alan. Oh, baby, this thing is sick. And we can make speakers and maybe pipe the music all around the bass. Yeah, awesome. We've got several tunes in here. I think these are actual bands with actual tunes, which concerns me because I don't want to get a copyright notice. <laughs> so I think for now, we're just going gonna, gonna to shut that off. But that is really cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to mess with that at the time being because we, uh, we got some adventure to get to. So let's get going. Enough building. Let's roll out. Oh, I want to make the sea truck sleeper module, but we need lead, and I think I'm super low on lead right now. Oh, we got three. We got perfect. We got perfectly three. Perfectly three. There we go. All right. What else do we need? Fiber mesh two and a plasteel ingot under the in the finished area here. Do we have any plasteel? We do not. Oh boy. All right. Well, let's make some plasteel. I think we can make that. Easy peasy. We're going to have to go out and collect some more lead, and we can use our new scanner for that. Relatively new scanner, that is. Uh, we make that on the vehicle bay thingamabob, right? Oh, that's, that's a good picture right there. Now that it's sunny out. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's get an updated picture. Let's put these little guys to work. Up we go. Climb aboard. Hi, guys. All right. Are we ready? You guys are going to love this. See, give us a sea truck sleeper module, please. These guys work under all kinds of conditions. Even thunder and lightning storms. They do get hazard pay, though. It's fine. All right, let's let them finish that. Let's go get the... Let's go get foodie and bring it over. Oh, there it is. It's gorgeous. I think we have to remove this one, though. Yeah, this has to be removed. Because this one has to be at the end. So let that go right here. We'll be right back for you, buddy. All right, let's go pick up our sleeper module. And we're going to be able to sleep in this thing. It's going to be not just a food truck, but also a um, like an RV. Isn't that spectacular? <laughs> this thing's so great. I just wish it had a rear view. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I'm getting good at this. I mean, Robin. Robin's good at this. She's driving. All right, let's grab this one. And it's attached. Now we should get a picture. With the sleeper module, I guess we should check it out first, though. <gasps> oh, my. It's got its own little jukebox in here. Look at that. Portable jukebox. Are you kidding me? we got music on the, on the sea truck now. Oh, I can put a picture in here, too. Ooh, excellent. I didn't know we were going to be able to do that here. All the comforts of home. <laughs> we truly are based. Yeah. And we can sleep in here. Oh, wow. I love this thing. And all we need now is the aquarium module, and this thing will be complete. Food truck will be complete, 100%. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's get an angled shot with the base in the back. What do you think? Three, two, one. Smile, everybody. This one right here. Upload it. I think I can share these with you guys, too. There's a share button. Can I share these online somehow? Maybe. I'll look into that. And we got the tunes, too. Let's crank it up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Food truck upgrade. Yeah, boy. Oh, my gosh. Crazy, man. Oh, that's perfect. That is just perfect. But, again, I'm a little worried about copyright. <laughs> so, we're going to turn that off for now. Besides, I got a little work to do. All right. No time to play. Let me go get ready for an adventure. And we'll spend the rest of this episode doing something Captain. different. Another artifact. Yes. Another artifact. Mm -hmm. You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Mm. Okay. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Yeah, if we scan these, we open up new recipes. And apparently there's one that we really, really want. At least according to what you guys are saying in the comments. It's a, it's a priority. So maybe we'll go do that today. We can also try to find the remaining pieces of 
the grapple arm and the afterburner back at the lily pad area in sea monkey Signal nests. location uploaded to pda thank you yeah so let's let's do that mm. nothing too exciting but uh, at least we'll we'll get out of the base for a little while okay i think i'm ready so let's uh let's grab a couple of nuts to go for the road and let's go stretch our legs or something uh yeah <laughs> Our arms and legs. Lots of stretching. All right, hop in, foodie. I'm driving. <laughs> Robin's driving. All right. So we're gonna go back toward the uh, deep purple. In this direction, toward the lily pads and uh, the sea monkey nests are beneath them, apparently. And we get a lot of good stuff in sea monkey nests. Look at the size of this food truck now. You can see all the different modules up in the top there. <laughs> <laughs> All four attachments looking good. And when the night comes, we're going to sleep in our new sleeper module. Make sure that bed is nice and comfortable. If not, I'll have to return it to the manufacturer and uh, get a new one. <laughs> oh, oh boy. What is that? Oh, uh, get the zapper ready. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. I'll meet you guys there. I'll find the sea monkey nest and we'll do some scanning. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Dang, look at this mess. Have we been here before? No, we haven't. I see crates down here that have not been opened yet. Ooh, interesting. All right, well, let's go see what we got. Might be some good stuff here. There we go. I don't think we need brawny for this, do we? Nah. Nutrient block. Okay, nothing too great. Oh, control room. What is that? I don't know, but I shall read about it momentarily. Let's see what else we got. Oh, there's a new music disc. Sweet. First son, die peacefully. No, let's not. Bad, bad song. <laughs> Extra battery. We don't really need that. And eh, grab the quartz. Sure, why not? Okay, this isn't what we're looking for, to be honest. Oh, there's a PDA here, though. Control room rapid depressurization. Detailed wall mounted display audits and discloses hull stability and energy consumption. All right, so it's a it's a control room, <laughs> just like it says. It's gonna give us information about the base, and stability and energy use and that kind of thing. So not not great, not terrible, um, but not what we're really looking for. So oh no, don't go over there. Good stuff, but not what we came for. Let's find those sea monkey nests. Gonna be down here somewhere. Oh dang it! Sorry, buddy. Can we fit this down here? It's the one drawback of a food truck being so large. It's not very maneuverable and he's very slow. <laughs> but we can get the afterburner thing, right? Was somebody chasing us? Okay, I see sea monkeys and I see a sea monkey nest right beneath us. So I'm gonna shut the light off. Maybe we should sleep. Can we sleep here? Yeah, let's sleep. Let's sleep in our new sleeper module. I think it's safe. All right, let's try out that new bed, ready? Good night. Climb right in there. Oh, look at that. We have a skylight. Sea monkey egg discovered. Oh, does that mean our sea monkey egg hatched, I think? Oh, crack. Look at that picture right there. This is so nice. So nice. All right, let's let's uh, let's go out here and do some scanning. By the way, that bed, super comfortable. Really nice. <laughs> oh, here we go. Can we scan this here? What is this? Oh, we've been here before. Silver ore, we can drill that with brawny. Okay, I'm not seeing any new nests down here, so I'm gonna get back into food truck and look around a little more. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hi, Brawny. I'm gonna get you back up in the on a food again. Sorry, pal. Come on. I know you wanna stretch your legs. I promised we would, but not right now. Sorry. Alright, let's go back up to the surface. <laughs> And find a different crack, because I don't think this is the right crack. Need a different hole. Got the wrong hole here. It happens. Oh boy. Did you see that? A Cryptosuchus egg was discovered. I, that means that's a shark. <laughs> oh no. So we have a shark in the tank with, um, with a sea monkey. Oh no. I think they're going to get along fine, because they are tamed, right? They hatch tamed and nice and friendly. I think so. 
I guess we'll find out when we get back. But they are young, young versions of their big, mean parents. So it should be okay. Got something. We have not scanned that, clearly, because you can see the blue highlight. So what is it? Capacity tank. Ultra capacity tank. <gasps> oh, yes. See, I told you it was going to be worth coming out here. All right, well, I guess there's just a few nests that we missed the first time. Because it's sort of the same area. Just going to keep looking. Oh, boy, can we squeeze through here? <laughs> it's a little tight. Hold on, Brody. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, buddy. All right, I guess we're going down here. We can go all the way down to 700 with Brawny. Woohoo! Get a light. Nope. <laughs> can punch, though. Holy smokes, where are we going? There's an artifact thing down I strongly here. strongly sense my people's technology nearby. Really? A body right. component is there. Okay, hold on to your butts, because we're going down. Can't stop it. Holy smokes. Woo! That was deep. Architect body cache is super, super close. Can we pick that up? Smash it first, and then pick it up. Actually, I don't want it. Oh, look at all this. We can do some drilling down here. What the heck are those things? I think we need those. Drill gold. Okay. We might do that. Can I pick that up? Oh, look at that arm. That's so cool. <gasps> hey, young cotton and nemi 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 nemi. We need those. Pick it up, dude. Pick it up. Pick all of it up. No, don't punch it. Pick it up. We need those to make, uh, to make the thing. Oh, where'd it go? It goes into Brawny's storage, which is right back here. Inedible, but can be used in advanced construction. Yes, indeed. We needed that for something over here. Right here, the hydrochloric acid. Oh, yeah. We got a couple of new recipes. We can make our new ultra high capacity tank now. Sweet. We can do that when we get back. All right, let's get back in Ronnie here. Now we have our nemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonem
find hopefully the uh, those other fragments that we came down here looking for. I know they're down here somewhere. I will locate them. I know they're in the sea monkey nests. Once again, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. So have a good day. Bye bye. Hold up before you go. Is that new stuff? Oh, it's new stuff. I see a blue glow. Blue outline. Let's go check it out. Something we haven't scanned yet, perhaps? What is it? Horsepower upgrade. Yeah, we need that. Foodie is so slow. Now that he's giant. All right. Well, looks like we have some new... Some new, uh, new nest here. This could be the place I was thinking of, by the way. Oh, hi, buddy. What you got? Nothing? Go get me something. Give me something good. I could use some lead. Hey, you just dinged food truck, didn't you? All right, yeah, this is a new area. Oh, 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 there's something down there, too, that does not look scanned. I'm going to have to get out of this sea truck. It's enormous. It's going to go down there and swim. I think this is the place I have not been yet. Oh, yeah, what is that? Give me something good. Grappling arm. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we came out here for. <laughs> Got a little sidetracked. Hmm. Thanks, buddy. Quartz. Okay, that's fine, too, but we really need lead, okay? Go fetch lead. Lead! Go get lead. Ooh, antenna plant. What is that? This thing right here. All right. Can we have some? Oh, it's fruit. Ooh. Good, because I'm hungry. Nine health, 20 food, and five h 2 That's actually pretty good. Let's grab a bunch of those. Okay, I think we're on to something. Um, all right, yeah, this is it, guys. So I'm going to look around, and I'll have all the recipes, hopefully, by next time. Oh, yeah. What is this, then? Afterburner. Sweet. Hey, don't push. I'm scanning. Okay, okay fine. Dude. Okay. All right. Yeah, beat it. Come on, get out of the way. Beat it. Beat it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Got it. Hey, uh-oh. Did you screw that up somehow? Control room. Where's my afterburner? Oh, we got it. Okay. Sea truck afterburner upgrade. That's going to be fabulous. So we can speed up foodies so dang slow. All right. I got to go get some oxygen and I'm going to do some more exploring around here. And I'll let you know if I find anything super duper awesome in the next episode. So hope you enjoyed this episode, my friends. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.